Hello, good morning everyone, or by the time this video goes out, good afternoon. Today I'm going to be looking at a deathmatch game, because why not, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, just make sure the scores are updating on the right here. And who have we got? Um, those of you probably not very familiar with deathmatch, I will explain a little bit more momentarily. We've got down to the south in blue, we've got Christ, Neg Neg Imp uh, Negative Impulse Gaming, one of the most renowned clans of all time for deathmatch. Uh, Christ here, Christian, uh, a very well known and very famous uh, deathmatch player, although if you into uh, random map you probably wouldn't have heard of him <laughs> in blue playing as Huns over to the left pro build uh, his teammate playing as Spanish not sure who this guy is and he needs to be careful not to lose a villager there as uh, this is what tends to happen at the start of a pro deathmatch game you get harassment from the scouts uh, Christ doing the same for his opponent and on their other side of the map we've got Tempo uh, Tempo another famous famous um, deathmatch player playing as Huns and in purple my favorite color Purpura in Spanish. <laughs> uh, Democracy of Gods, uh, pretty well known as well. I think he actually, I did a video a while ago of him actually kicking my ass uh, a long while ago, playing as Spanish. We've got Huns versus Spanish, Huns versus Spanish on either side. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty intense game, I think. As you can see, Deathmatch, you start post Imperial, uh, and you, it's very quick to get to the action. Uh, Christ is already pushing out with some Paladins already. He's going to keep the pressure on to Tempo. Uh, Huns obviously on the di opposite diagonals, and the two Spanish on the opposite diagonals as well. Both these uh, Hun players with a pretty even start. Huns tend to go for a mix of Heavy Cavalry Archer, Paladin, and uh, Halberdiers. That is their main army composition. Later on, throwing in some Siege Rams to take out any buildings, maybe a few trebuchets as well, you never see Tarkins coming out at all, uh, but mainly Heavy Cavalry Archer, uh, Paladins and the like. And the, the deathmatch is usually played on fast speed as well, so it's going to be pretty hard for me to uh, speed this up at times, because it's already fast as it is. So Christ is already pushing out, trying to keep the pressure onto Tempo, wants to keep him locked inside of his base, trying to take out as many villagers as he can early on to make sure that um, Tempo is slowed down or their opponents are slowed down. And the start of a deathmatch game, usually pretty messy as these guys really bolster up their populations. Um, obviously, We've got Huns here who are on both teams, so the Huns are going to want to apply pressure to each other first because Huns obviously don't have to build houses, so they get off to a very fast start, and obviously the huge start and the, and the extremely quick start that they have uh, sets them up nicely. Uh, market's already going up for Christ, just noticed there as well. Uh, sets them up really nicely. Um, in a deathmatch game for attacking and rushing extremely quickly. Whereas if we compare the population for the Hun players, 151, to the population of the Spanish players, 73, you can see how fast the Hun players are. So you've got to be really careful. Uh, you're going to want to help to protect your your teammate here because we're going to have the Hun player tempo here coming into attack pro build. Pro build's going to be a little bit exposed because he's not really got much of an army. His army composition is going to consist of halberdiers, conquistadores, uh, paladins and some halberdiers as well as some hand cannoneers as well to deal with the infantry that the um, that the Hun player is likely to have. So the Hun player is going to be a little bit of a nuisance for pro build right here but we're hoping that Christ is going to balance things out by attacking democracy of gods on the right hand side. He is going to try and do as much damage as he possibly can to demo gods for the time being because obviously Spanish are going to have a lot less population than Huns but Huns can very quickly burn themselves out they uh, they usually get to the population limit extremely quickly if we look Christ almost at pop yet his population capped himself right now and now his population capped he's almost out of gold he is going to start working on his economy getting things rolling but he is going to try and protect his teammate pro build who is being attacked by the Hun player tempo over here on the left doing really pretty hard but he's already got three castles up he's not got any eco going already though and if we have a look at tempo tempo's already got two or three Three town centers going up the third, fourth already. So uh, Tempo's economy is going to get rolling very quickly. And it's so important to get your economy going. It looks like Christ, though, has already been using the market. If we have a look, yep, he's already sold off some food and wood to get some extra gold. And he's already creating trade carts to garrison them in there um, and wait for the right time. These guys like to get their markets up early sell off their excess resources to get extra gold and then once they uh, once they are safe to do so commence their trading as fast as they can trade with a Spanish player on your team is extremely important as you do get 33% extra gold from it of course and now this is where it's going to start getting messy tempo on the left 
pushing forwards, then Prybuild is going to struggle to defend this unless something helps. And that's right, because Tri Christ is coming in with a ton of heavy cavalry archers and a ton of halberdiers and ca heavy cavalry archers at the back as well. So these guys are going to be okay to defend. But on the right hand side, we've got demigods pushing out with a large army of conquistadors and uh, halberdiers. Just going to get that castle up in time. Christ is going to see that, and he is going to be able to hopefully deal with that attack pretty quickly. Gotta bear in mind, Christ is already low on resources. He's gonna have to get his economy rolling very quickly. As a hunt player, it's important to get plenty of wood, uh, food, and gold as you're gonna want to keep the production of your heavy cavalry archers high. They're gonna push tempo away by the looks of things and uh, that is good. They are gonna push him away and uh, then they will hopefully try and push him right back to his base and see what happens there. But I think Christ is gonna have to come back and help, um, help himself out at his own base because he's already being attacked by demigods. He's gonna push demigods away here, but they're all accumulating in the middle by the looks of things. It's gonna be one messy, messy battle in the middle. And army control is so important, man. It's really hard. As you can see, Christ already losing control of his army here. They're not deserting. No, no, they're not running away. They are, they're being patrolled in and when you patrol your army, they come back to where they start from. So uh, Christ's uh, army is looking pretty messy, losing a bit of control of his halberdiers here, trying to bring them back as uh, he lost control of those. It's very hard once you get this many units on the map. Obviously, the start of a deathmatch game, imagine like a, a really big curve. The start of the game, you, you start on zero, and then there's a really steep curve to where you peak. And your peak is where you've just reached 200 population for the first time and you've got no economy. And then there's a little bit of a downward curve where... Um, you have more units, sorry, you have your population limit, but you've got half the amount of army that you started with because you've obviously then got your economy to support that. These guys start building their economy from the very very start and as you can see quite a lot of uh, town centers out it's important to get all the gold up as fast as you can and there's so messy at the start. We've got pro build trying to get back to his base to protect himself and uh, Tempo and Democracy of Gods massing their armies together here. This is a pretty scary force. Honor just right there as well. As well as lots of heavy cavalry archers, conquistadors, paladins and uh, halberdiers and uh, Christ is going to have to get back I think because he's going to want to protect against this. This is a ton of army right here. They are going to be bearing down on Christ in a moment, especially from this hill. Christ has got to be careful here and regain his army control. As you can see, he's just released the trade carts. The trade carts making their First dash across the map. They are safe to do so for the time being. They want to get, going to want to get a team wall in place as soon as they can as well to protect their trade. And these guys massing their army up on the left, their opponents massing their the army up on the right. And these guys probably going to have a pretty big conflict in a moment. The trade carts though being released for the first time. They're going to want to get as much trade as they can. 102 gold per card. So uh, going to be really important to get the trade and keep it safe. The other guys not actually getting much trade yet. I don't think uh, these guys have got that much. It looks like Tempo has got a few trade cards already. Yeah, he's got a few. He's going to release them pretty shortly. And these guys now pushing out to the left. They are going to want to get Tempo down as fast as they can. Pushing through on a 2v1. These guys are going to be forced to withdraw from attacking Christ here. That's a nice little feint. And um, they're going to want to pre prevent this team wall from going up as well. Tempo already trying to get the team wall up. But these guys have already penetrated through. They're going to want to stop that from happening as fast as they can. And uh, hopefully things are going to neaten up a little bit soon. Because it's very hard to see what's going on. Bear in mind, blue and red together. And teal and purple together. Purple looking pretty strong here though. He's going to take out this castle from Christ. And Christ is going to be a little bit exposed. He's not really got that much army down here. He's going to have to throw up another castle in defense and get some more army together. But it is 2v1 against Tempo over here on the left-hand side. And if they can get in and damage the trade, then that is going to be great. Tempo just releasing his first wave of trade carts as well. Really desperate to get some uh, get some gold, I imagine. If we have a look at Tempo on here, uh, 1,000 gold. But he's got, yeah, he's spending that so quickly. He's got no wood at the moment, but his economy is looking decent. He's got quite a lot of villages out. He's already getting plenty of town centers up and getting the economy rolling. And now we see Democracy of Gods coming in from behind. Demigods with these honors is going to be really, really vital. Uh, uh, to get out the way of these, Christ is going to struggle uh, killing them off just heavy, heavy cavalry archers and conquistadors as well. Going to have to struggle taking them out. Uh, Honor just not being used for their maximum effect, I don't think, but Democracy of Gods forcing him back. And these guys are pretty much trapped here. Pro build is trapped between uh, Tempo and Democracy of Gods. He's probably going to lose quite a few conquistadors as he runs away. Um, effectively, they're on horseback and they're pretty fast. Christ trying to get in there, see if he can find the trade. He is going to try and do what damage he can. Villagers quick to. Garrison inside the town centers there and these uh, cavalry archers are going to be very quickly chased down They're going to want to try and take out the trade where they can but it's on its way back and these guys are yeah are Got in good trade already 
And it looks like a Democracy of God's Tempo have managed to um, repel them for the time being. And Christ is having to fall back by the looks of things. He's not really got much of an army at the moment. Pro build. Trying to take out these castles from Tempo. He's got more siege rams coming in from the side. And it looks like he might be able to take out these castles actually. Uh, but Tempo is quick to respond. Bringing in some heavy cavalry archers and paladins. Castles are so important in a deathmatch game. Uh, as you can imagine. They help to protect your economy and they help to protect important areas of the map. Tempo probably going to actually no, he's probably not going to lose this castle because these paladins coming in taking out these siege rams extremely quickly. As you can see, Christ has already got part of a team wall going up, and that's important because they're going to want to protect their trade as much as they can. This gold oversaturated, he's going to want to get to another gold pile very soon. Uh, but I think Christ is doing okay for gold at the moment. Yeah, he's got 5k gold. That is pretty decent. Unfortunately, Pro Build not managed to take out these castles. And now we see the uh, typical split. Uh, Pro build is going to be fighting against Tempo for the time being, Spanish against Huns, and on the right hand side we're going to have Christ against uh, a, a Democracy of Gods. Looks like Christ is going to be okay with this on the right though. He may just actually know, it's hard to say. Uh, temp so, uh, Democracy of Gods bringing in some more Conquistadors and Paladins, and uh, I don't know, Christ is. He's got plenty of eco, he's population capped, he just needs to get his army back. Uh, I don't think he's really got much army to be honest. Um, yeah, he's got what, 30, 40, about 50, 50 units of uh, army and 150 villagers. Um, so he is going to want to reinforce this as quick as he can. Gonna take out this castle by the looks of things, but this trebuchet is attacking up hills, so look how little damage it actually does to this castle, very little damage indeed. So he's gonna want to get another trebuchet out if he can, and keep pressure on to Democracy of Gods here, but Democracy of Gods with a pretty large army, and uh, he is on the hill of course as well, so Christ attacking up hill, that's not great for him, and Demogods may be able to defend this, even though he's gonna lose this castle in the next hit or so. Yeah, there we go, he's gone down, and uh, Christ is gonna be able to well, he's going to have to fall back by lots of things, but Demogods with a pretty decent army on a hill as well. Pro build though, pushing through and managing to take out one castle from Tempo by lots of things. He's going to try and take out this other one. He is pushing back and it looks like both these Spanish players are doing pretty darn good at the moment, I've got to say. Uh, the Spanish players are doing pretty great against their hun opponents and Pro build pushing back and taking out these trebuchets uh, for Tempo. Going to keep his own castle up, very important to do so as uh, Conquistadors can only be created from castles obviously. And some great hits by those oranges there. They are being pretty deadly against these heavy cavalry archers and that could actually win this battle for pro build on the left and uh, democracy of god still sticking to his hill for the time being but christ is is just fine he is rebuilding his army very quickly look how much gold he's got he's got ridiculous amounts of gold at the moment comparing that to his opponent democracy of gods on the right demogods 2k gold he's not really got much food though but their economies are looking pretty strong uh, they're gonna have to get their villagers stop idling obviously it's pretty hard to keep your villagers not idle in these situations. Tempo's economy looking pretty decent as well. He's got lots and lots of farms. And um, uh, same same for Pro Build and Christ as well. Their economy is pretty decent. Uh, but obviously trade is one of the most important things at the moment. And Christ is uh, up against a hill here. Lots of conquistadors on a hill. Not so great. But Pro Build is pushing forwards on the left. If he can penetrate through and take out the trade, then that is not going to be good for Tempo and Democracy of Gods. But Pro Build, it's going to be a little while before he manages to get there. He is running a little bit low on army. He's just got a lot of Conquistadors massed, but Tempo is also massing a lot of Paladins, Heavy Cavalry Archers. And on the right hand side, we've got Demogods pushing out as well. So Christ is in no way safe. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to have to mass up some more army by the looks of things, but he's. Oh no, he's not population capped at all. I was going to say he was population capped, he would be momentarily. Pro build having to defend against, well, Tempo having to defend against Pro build even. Uh, Conquistador is so, so powerful and so strong, as you can see. Uh, once they're in a little mass like that, even Paladin struggles to take them out. Heavy cavalry archers as well. You're going to want to get in close though, because heavy cavalry archers do have a bigger range. Uh, as you can see, bring them in close there to make sure their attacks are solid, using the siege rams as meat shields while the Conquistadors do all the heavy duty work. And. Now we can see the team wall kind of completed for tempo, but it's not so so vital as Pro Build is pushing through and starting to deal a large amount of damage to tempo on the left. Democracy of Gods though, trying to back up his teammate with some conquistadors of his own as Christ pushes out. This is great timing. Christ pushing out just as Temp uh, Democracy of Gods withdraws his force from this hill. So Democracy of Gods forced back, and this castle is probably going to be prevented from going up. Great play from Christ there, and. Um, 
Christ with a large army right now. Unfortunately for Pro Build though, it's 2v1 on this side. Pro Build probably going to be forced back and his advance into Tempo's base is going to be incredibly slowed down. But we've got to bear in mind, Christ is pushing forwards on the right hand side and Democracy of Gods... Oh, that is very close to the trade. They've got a couple of castles there, but the trade is so close to the front. Uh, Christ is so close. He's going to be able to take out these trebuchets, which are just left there, and uh, he's probably going to be able to do a bit of damage to these villagers over here as well. Let's see what Christ actually does. Tempo um, is safe for the time being. Probably being pushed back. Um, but we've got to bear in mind, Christ is pretty strong at the moment. The population capped himself, and whoa, there we go. <laughs> This is either a mind game or it's some kind of uh, way to get rid of your villagers without having to delete them all one by one. He's sending his villagers into Democracy of God's base to have them killed. Obviously, if you look how much gold he's got, he doesn't actually need all these villagers right now. So he is okay to actually send them to their deaths. And uh, that is exactly what he's doing. He's running half of his villagers to their deaths in Democracy of God's base. I don't know if that's just to say, you know what? This is a mind game. I don't need these villagers. Look how much gold I've got. Look, he's sending them all full of gold. Um, so maybe Christ uh, is just doing that as a little bit of a mind game. Maybe he's doing that just to get rid of his villagers without having to delete them all. Uh, but now that means he's going to be able to get a bigger army, as you can see. His population is decreased, but he's spending that on army very quickly indeed. He's got loads of uh, paladins queued up, I think. Or well, he did have, yeah. And uh, he's going to be queuing up. Yeah, there we go. He's got loads queued up. And he's going to be queuing up quite a few heavy cavalry archers as well. Now they're pushing forwards on the left. It's 2v1 on this left-hand side. Uh, where is Democracy of Gods? I don't know. Is it his base? He's going to have to get over there as quickly as he can. I don't know how much he's got uh, to get over there. Christ and Probuild pushing forwards. If they get too close to the trade, it's pretty much going to be game over. Amen. Uh, sorry, Tempo having to set his gather point at the back here to prevent his units from being killed as soon as they get created. It's not looking so good. Christ and Probuild pushing forwards. It could be their game. It's hard to say for sure. But these uh, siege rams coming in, setting fires are pretty much everything in their way. And uh, unless. Democracy of Gods and Tempo can make one last stand and push these guys away. It's not going to look promising, but look how much of an army Christ has got over here. Christ almighty. He's pushing forwards as well on the right, but this is where it's happening. On the left right here, Tempo's base getting absolutely gutted. These guys pushing forwards, probably going to make this game theirs, as uh, they are going to get extremely close to the trade very soon and take it out completely. Just going to speed things up very quickly for the time being, just to see how far forwards they manage to push. Tempo and Democracy of Gods hasn't, haven't really got that much of an army. Bear in mind, Christ has got this down here. He's going to be able to bring that over very quickly indeed. And uh, Pro Build is reinforcing himself with Conquistadors and everything. Uh, these Siege Rams taking out pretty much everything in their path at the moment. And uh, Tempo's base being absolutely gutted. He's got no way to produce any more units. He's not really got any more resources, I don't think. Uh, oh no, he has. He's got quite a bit of gold. But he's got not anything way, any way to produce anything at the moment. Uh, these guys getting extremely close to the trade. And after sending his villagers into... Christ's base, that must have been some kind of, uh, sorry, Christ sending his villagers into Demogod's base, that must have been some massive, massive mind game right there, bringing all these paladins forwards, having this many paladins this late in the game is uh, is another mind game as well, it's like where the hell have they got all this gold from, and now Christ pushing forwards on the right, Demogod's got absolutely nothing to defend it with, and obviously on the left we've got Pro Build pushing forwards as well, and there's no army to stop him from getting to the trade right now, looks like Pro Build and Christ are going to win this one in a pretty climactic battle, and there we go, these guys resigned and safe to say they've won that one they were so close to the trade and they would have won it whoa there we go deathmatch game 30 minutes of pure quick fast adrenaline rushed uh, i don't know how to explain it a deathmatch is just insane uh i'm not going to bring you too much deathmatch but if you want to see more let me know in the comments i might do a game a week or two games a week or something just to mix things up a bit this won't be the only video out today i'll release another video as well this is just a little extra one because i thought doing something a bit different for once and hopefully you've enjoyed it so thank you very much for watching i've been zach and i will see you next time